Retrieving a satellite from space with a robotic arm is not an easy task. You only have one shot. And on Chavla's one shot, unfortunately, she bumps it into a spin. The astronauts consider the possibility of catching the satellite by hand. But it's an option that is fraught with danger. Spacewalk has, you know, natural inherent risks. They have more danger than when you're sitting back inside the spacecraft. But on the other hand, Spartan is worth $10 million. Recovering something like that, you're always weighing. It's a valuable piece of gear. We want to bring it back versus how much risk is there to it hitting the space shuttle or to it causing a catastrophe with the crew. It's hard to quantify the length of time that goes into building something like a satellite. It takes years, decades, sometimes whole careers. And here, in an instant, this one is potentially slipping away. 170 miles above the Earth, Winston Scott and his colleague Takeo Doi prepare for their last ditch rescue mission. And good morning, Columbia. We sure have a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, time to roll up our sleeves. All spacewalks are risky, but this one is even more dangerous than usual. We were improvising uh, on the fly. We didn't know how long it was going to take. To catch the satellite, the astronauts need both hands. They are forced to try an incredibly hazardous maneuver. We can't anchor ourselves with our hands. We need our hands free to catch the satellite. So we anchor our boots into foot restraints on the side of the shuttle. One mistake, and the rogue satellite could knock Scott or Doy tumbling into space. Flight Commander Kevin Craigle edges the shuttle slowly towards the satellite. I can recall calling out to Kevin, OK, the satellite is aft about five feet. He would fire the jets and move us back a little bit. OK, hold, stabilize. Craigle inches the shuttle alongside Spartan. It is now within touching distance. I then gave Takao the cues that we had practiced. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Capture. That's it. 